Hey guys, thank you for watching another Gadget Wide production. In this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the proof of concept of this iOS activation uh, bypass, the permanent solution. Okay? Now, it's currently in my time, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm actually in the process of uh, compiling the uh, video tutorial and the um, article so I can post it to the website but in the meantime to keep you guys held up a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the key files here and uh, and also uh, these files in action on an actual iPhone once the changes have been made um, so the file we have here right over here that I'm gonna display to you all right this is the primary file here. This file is what is controlling all of the iCloud um, lock screen and uh, you know the whole breaking of the phone and everything. So for example, here we have activation state acknowledged. Now this is the change, the modification that I've made already and I'm gonna show you the result on an iPhone 5 right now and show you how what happens. Okay, so basically uh, it starts off with activation state acknowledged. Basically, it's asking, hey, are we activated? This value is true, okay? Uh, brick state is the phone. Are we going to brick the phone? We're, we're going to say no, false. We're not going to brick the phone, all right? Device name, string. In this case, it's just an iPhone 5. Um, first free, free pair expired, key equals true. First purple buddy completion, uh, integer, with that number. We're not going to play with that. Uh, SB at springboard lockdown ever registered key. True. Now this is what locks down your springboard. Everything on the desktop so you cannot access any of the apps. This is what's locking it right here. Okay. So that value is set to true. And then uh, time interval since 1970. I don't know why it's set that way. But it, it just said that way. I think this is the countdown of uh, when the, uh, you know, if you, if you put in certain requests or uh, put in certain, you know, values in wrong, uh, it'll count down from 1970 or whatever. I'm not really too sure about that. Uh, time zone. Uh, we have a uh, activation ticket. True. Do we have an activation ticket it's looking for? iTunes has it connected. In this case, it's true. Uh, com.apple.itunes delete applications key array. This is a bunch of other stuff that uh, you, for the most part, you do not need to play with and touch. But what what's going to happen here is this. Is I'm basically uh, going to demonstrate in my video how you can go ahead and access this file here. And um, once you access this file, I'm basically going to give you the files to directly, uh, the files to go ahead and directly put into your phone, the phone that's currently bricked, once you do access it. Now, these are not the necessary values that are going to be in the final result. Now, on the phone that I have here that I'm going to show you that's been being demonstrated, um, for activation state acknowledged, I have it set to, um, um, I have this set to uh, activation, sta activation state acknowledged. I have it set to false. For brick state, I, also, I have it set to true. For device name, it's just regular. First free pair expired keys, I have that set to false. First purple buddy completion, I have that, um, uh, I have not touched that. Uh, springboard lockdown ever registered key I put that to false um, timer intervals all of that stuff I did not play with use Raptor certs these are the certificates these all go to false uh, use 24 hour clock didn't play with that we have AP ticket uh, uh, AT ticket activation ticket I also went and put to false and uh, iTunes has connected I also moved that to false as well and um, uh, I believe that's pretty much it. Now, this particular file 
was extracted from an iPhone 4 and was put into an iPhone 5. So the same thing you guys are going to do once I go ahead and release the files and the tutorial and the video. It's basically going to put this file here along with a few other files um, into the directory that I'm going to go ahead and pre-assign and it will give you the result of a unbricked fully functional phone. Now I'm uh, displaying this video uh, as a proof of concept because it does work. I know people have been doubting it but it does work. So the next thing I'm going to show you right now is this working on a i on an iPhone 5 that already has an iCloud account on there and um I'm going to show you the result of that just bear with me for one second here okay so here I have an iPhone 5 um as you can tell this is an iPhone 5 I have it on a little stand here but let me just go ahead and take it off just to show you guys this is an iPhone 5 okay and uh, this iPhone 5 had a iCloud account on there. Now, once I ran my procedure and went ahead and replaced these particular, these particular, sorry, these particular files, um, it went ahead and produced this result that I'm going to show you now. Oop, excuse me, guys. Just give me just, just bear with me for one second. Went ahead and produced this result okay auto let's put let's put for my auto focus on here okay so i restarted the phone after inserting those particular files that i extracted from an iphone 4 then modified on a com on uh, on a computer i then used um ssh tool to go ahead and actually um insert these files in the root directory and uh, after I went ahead and did all that I mean it, it's 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 a lot more than what I'm just you know uh, saying here but this is just a quick explanation of it um, after everything was all said and done this phone that had a had an existing um, uh, iCloud account showed this result so it says hello you slide now it says to finish setting up iCloud, enter the Apple ID for vdevaderson.me.com. Now you're seeing something new here, guys. I don't know if here, let's see if we could see this a little better. You have an option here that you've never seen before. One of them says forgot password. The other one says skip this step. Now I'm sure you guys have never seen this before. Now due to the modifications that I made to that particular file, it allowed this screen to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? Skip this step. It's going to say, are you sure? I'm going to say, yes, go ahead and skip. Updating iCloud settings. Welcome, get started. And now we are in a fully functional iPhone. That is a fully functional iPhone. How do you like that, guys? How do you like that? Everything works on this iPhone. This is a fully, fully functional iPhone. So this is proof that this does work. And um, I am producing the uh, files and video and tutorial now. And I'm just posting this video real quick to give you guys, um, you know, um, the little bit of hope that you guys need and um, just to let you know that hey um, it's coming it's real it works and here I have it on an iPhone 5 fully functional um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys so it's working uh, and I can go ahead and restart the phone and uh, nothing happens. Everything seems, everything works fine. No problem. Just, I'm going to go ahead and show you that as well.
Let's give it a second here. All right, let's reboot the phone. few more seconds here all right slide and we are in the phone let's go ahead and run things everything is working everything is fine all files are there so everything is just perfect see that guys fantastic okay now, as a demonstration, what I did was I went ahead and um, enabled uh, Find My iPhone, and I set this phone up to be lost. This is my phone. I set it up to be lost. And after these modifications I did here, um, I bypassed my own account with the files and certs, certificates in other words, from another phone that have been modified with the correct specifications inserted into this phone. It actually worked. It actually bypassed all of the lost function, uh, you know, the lost functionality, freezing the springboard, uh, breaking the phone. All that stuff was turned off as you saw in the previous um, screen that I was showing you uh, with the options. So it actually gives you a fully functional phone and also the certs, the certificates um, are removed which means you can create new credentials for iCloud and uh, you can make the phone yours. Guys, this uh, demonstration uh, um, was just a you know a proof of concept and the final tutorial and video is being produced right now. It's it's like, what, 2 o'clock in the morning right now. Let me see if I could focus in there for you there, guys. It's 2.17 in the morning. I'm still working on it, still working on the article and the video, but here is a proof of concept. So you guys don't lose hope, don't lose hope, don't lose hope, don't lose hope. Um, it's coming, it's here, it's real. Thank you for watching. Please comment on this video and please visit www.gadgetwide.com and please register and uh, write some articles and post some news, reviews, you know, whatever you like technology related for the website. Let's help the website grow. That's all I ask in, for re that's all I ask in return, honestly. And um, I will have the final product for you very shortly, possibly within hours, at the most, you know, a day or two. But here is the proof of concept. It's real and it's true and it's working. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment and thumbs up this video.